Hello and welcome to another tutorial. Today we will be building a stackable farm that can farm both melons and pumpkins. It's highly efficient as there is, are almost no drops lost in the process. It uses almost no redstone, only one piece of redstone and one normal piston per harvested melon or pumpkin. A couple of building blocks are also used and the building of it is really easy and simple to follow and it requires almost no experience in building stuff in Minecraft. So let's have a look at how it looks when we harvest it. So we just step on those pressure plates and then all the melons will be harvested. As you can see there is some melons that get stuck but usually when you just step off the pressure plates and then activate it again all the drops that got stuck will get pushed into the water stream and yeah in total only two or three um, got stuck on a sample of almost two stacks of melons so that's almost nothing so let's get into building it to build the stackable farm you will need a 8 wide by 10 deep place so when you're done deciding where you want to build it and you have the required space you will start by deciding where your pressure plates are going to be so they should be on the front line of your 8 by 10 wide space in the middle and i will put them somewhere around here and then underneath the pressure plates you're going to dig away the blocks and then just go down one more place some redstone there and then on the left side um, you're going to dig out seven blocks like this so one two three four five six seven and then um, put in three redstone dust and then on the left side again dig out three blocks like this and then two more like this put in redstone dust and place a redstone torch on top of the block then we turn around and we dig out four blocks this time and three blocks again okay put in the dust and place the torch on top of the block and then just put redstone dust along this line dig out three blocks again and two blocks below placing your dust and your redstone torch on top and then on this side once again four blocks and three blocks again redstone torch and the dust so that is basically the first step and um, from this part um, it's the only thing you will need redstone dust for so for any next building steps you will only need redstone torches and pistons Okay, so if you got that, you can just cover everything up. And I will leave the, the pressure plates places open for now. So I can remember where I where I place the pressure plates. So just cover it up and then quickly place, place the pressure plates. Just stand on top of it and check if all the torches are turning off. And then you're going to... Um, get the middle between the two torches and then go one in and dig out the block a very important step that you really shouldn't um, forget do the same on the other side so in the middle and then one in okay so now you have something like this and we will just finish the first step by placing blocks on top of the torches and now place torches on the side pointing inwards and on top of the torches place blocks again then grab some dirt and your seats and also some bone meal if you want to speed up the process so put in your dirt um, like this so you start out uh, placing one dirt block here, second one there, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, and ninth block. So nine blocks in total, and do the same on the other side. Basically, the whole thing is mirrored, so if I do one side, the other side is going to be the exact same thing. 
So now we got a little U. So now we can start tilling the soil. So you should start tilling the corner there, then leave one open and do the next one. And because um, the soil isn't hydrated, you should um, instantly put the seed there because as you can see, otherwise it's going to pop up again. But if there is a seed in there, it's not going to pop up. So just do that for this side and then turn around and do it for the other side in the exact same fashion. So both sides are done. Now we can just put in our pistons on the sides of those blocks. And once again, exactly the same on the other side. And that is pretty much our first layer completed. We just need to put in two water source blocks right there. And then we'll quickly test if the whole thing works by standing on top of the pressure plates. If all the pistons extend at the same time, it is working correctly. So now we can just leave it like this and we have a working um, pumpkin or melon farm or we can add um, more layers and the amount of layers you can add is basically limited to the height of your world so it's up to you how high you want to build it and the next layer I'm going to show you is completely stackable so you can just repeat it as many times as you want okay so the stackable layer looks like this you start out by placing torches at the back of those blocks put blocks on top of it and then put torches in front and put blocks on top of it again and um, surprise surprise you can do exactly the same on the other side so torches at the back torches at the front blocks on top and then we will put in all the dirt so just one higher up put in your dirt exactly the same as the previous layer so just go around, fill up those as well, so no drops get stuck, and then go around. And now um, we should put in some torches to get light in there, because farmland will um, until when it hasn't a big enough light level. So when it's getting night time, it will be completely dark in the farm. So when that happens, everything is going to pop up and your farm is going to be ruined. So we don't want that and we can easily avoid it by placing torches like this. So right above the pistons. And you don't need to do this every single layer. You can easily leave uh, three or four layers in between and it will still receive enough light. But maybe for looks, you can do it every layer so it looks better. It's up to you. So now we just um, till the soil again. Oh, and if you accidentally misclick, you will actually pop out the torch as well. So till the soil, put a seed in there so it doesn't pop up. Okay, so I've got that. Now we just need to put in the pistons right next to the blocks. Do the same on the other side. And then just put two blocks here again. And that is our stackable layer finished. So let's quickly test it and see if all the pieces extend and they all extend. So now when you reach the top of your farm and you don't want to go any higher, we will put in our um, hydration blocks. And I am going to use glass um, to hold the water. And what you're going to do is on the top layer, which is this one for me, you're going to place blocks above the two middle pistons and then make a little um, holding chamber like this. And then in the middle of the, the circle, put water there and it will flow down and will be caught in this hole we, we dug earlier. So if you didn't do that, um, Basically, um, all your torches on this um, bottom level, level are going to wash away. So be careful with that. It's really important that the hole is there. So do the same on the other side. And then put in your water. And 
in a short bit of time you will see that all the farmland has been hydrated by the yeah the two water springs there so that's pretty cool and when all the seeds have fully grown or you've used bone meal on all of them melons or pumpkins will start to grow and we can actually harvest the farm so I'll wait for that to happen and I'll see you guys in a bit. So the farm has fully grown or at least almost fully grown and we are ready to do a harvest now. So let's stand on the pressure plates. And surprisingly not a single drop got stuck as far as I can tell. Oh, one over there got stuck so only one drop got stuck. And we actually received almost a stack of melons of this little farm we just created. So that's pretty cool in my opinion and it wasn't even fully grown yet and it's already starting to grow again and it's already created two new melons. So I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial and enjoy your farms and I will see you in the next video.